According to the Statistical Center of Iran's 2011 general census, over 99% of the population of the Islamic Republic of Iran is Muslim. Over 99%. And yet, we keep reading comments like this. Ex-Shia Muslim from Iran is here. You can't even imagine the rate of apostasy in Iran. And like this. I left Islam since I was seven. I live in Iran, and I can tell you 80% of us are closet non-Muslims. Now I'm confused. The Muslim government, which imposes a death penalty for apostasy, says that no one is leaving Islam. And they know this because they knock on your door and say, Are you still a Muslim? If not, we kill you. And people keep responding, Yes, we're Muslims. Classic polling. But other sources claim that massive numbers of Muslims are secretly leaving Islam, and even that there's now a non-Muslim majority in Iran. So, who's right and who's stupid? We don't have to wonder, because the Group for Analyzing and Measuring Attitudes in Iran has done the research. Iran's census claims that 99.5% of the population are Muslim, a figure that hides the state's active hostility toward irreligiosity, conversion, and unrecognized religious minorities. Iranians live with an ever-present fear of retribution for speaking against the state. In Iran, one cannot simply call people or knock on doors seeking answers to politically sensitive questions. That's why the anonymity of digital surveys offers an opportunity to capture what Iranians really think about religion. So they conducted a digital survey where the people who were answering questions didn't have to worry about being executed for giving the wrong answer. Our results reveal dramatic changes in Iranian religiosity with an increase in secularization and a diversity of faiths and beliefs. Compared with Iran's 99.5% census figure, we found that only 40% identified as Muslim. Only 40% identified as Muslim. This means that non-Muslims, and possibly even ex-Muslims, are now the majority in Iran. In contrast with state propaganda that portrays Iran as a Shia nation, only 32% explicitly identified as such, while 5% said they were Sunni Muslim and 3% Sufi Muslim. Another 9% said they were atheists, along with 7% who prefer the label of spirituality. Among the other selected religions, 8% said they were Zoroastrians, which we interpret as a reflection of Persian nationalism and a desire for an alternative to Islam, rather than strict adherence to the Zoroastrian faith, while 1.5% said they were Christian. Here we can see the data visually. Shia Muslims have this part of the pie. Sunni Muslims have this part of the pie. Sufi Muslims have this part of the pie. Islam doesn't even get half the pie. Most Iranians, 78%, believe in God, but only 37% believe in life after death, and only 30% believe in heaven and hell. In line with other anthropological research, a quarter of our respondents said they believed in jinns or genies. Around 20% said they did not believe in any of the options, including God. These numbers demonstrate that a general process of secularization known to encourage religious diversity is taking place in Iran. An overwhelming majority, 90%, described themselves as hailing from believing or practicing religious families. Yet 47% reported losing their religion in their lifetime, and 6% said they changed from one religious orientation to another. Younger people reported higher levels of irreligiosity and conversion to Christianity than older respondents. Needless to say, these figures are not good for Islam. A third said they occasionally drank alcohol in a country that legally enforces temperance. 
Over 60% said they did not perform the obligatory Muslim daily prayers, synchronous with a 2020 state-backed poll in which 60% reported not observing the fast during Ramadan, the majority due to being sick. My goodness, over half the population didn't fast during Ramadan? So, why aren't you guys fasting? Um, because we're all sick? Sounds like they all came down with a severe case of coronavirus, aka Movid-19. In comparison, in a comprehensive survey conducted in 1975, before the Islamic Revolution, over 80% said they always prayed and observed the fast. That is huge. Before the Islamic Revolution in Iran, before the mullahs took over the government, more than 80% of the population always performed their daily prayers and fasted during Ramadan. Now less than half the population performs their prayers and fasts. Something similar happened with ISIS. Once people saw what an authentic Islamic government looked like, they wanted no part of Islam. So, whether it's Shia Islam or Sunni Islam, the vast majority of people do not want to live under an authentic Islamic regime. When Muslims see Islam in all its blood-stained glory, they can't leave Islam fast enough. Great job, Iranian mullahs. People tell me I'm good at exposing Islam, but let's face it. You mullahs are the real heroes, along with ISIS and Boko Haram, and Al-Shabaab, and Al-Qaeda, and all the other terrorists, and the Dawa teams, and the keyboard jihadis, and Sheikh Yasser Qadi, and the Quran, and the Hadith, and the internet, and common sense, and reality. Wow, given the rate of Islam's collapse, seems like I'll soon need to find something else to talk about. Small price to pay for getting to watch Islam crumble before our eyes.